Huh, somebody having a birthday? <laughs> yeah, well, my niece. I sent her a card and a check. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, except I kind of forgot to sign the check. <laughs> Whoa, not so nice. Hey, no kidding. Hey, speaking of cards and signatures, what do you know about union authorization cards? Well, I know I'd never sign one. You wouldn't? How come? Aren't they just used to get information about the union? Well, not hardly. That union authorization card is a legal document. Once you sign it, the union can claim to speak for you. Really? Absolutely. And it doesn't matter whether you sign a card in person or do it electronically online. Even if you like it on a union website, they got you. Well, that doesn't sound good. Nope, but it's not the only reason to avoid signing a card. Well, what else? I'd say there are at least five and possibly more reasons not to sign. Number one is the fact it's a legal document. Number two, unions are a shrinking business. They used to represent millions of workers. Now, not so much. Over the last few decades, membership is way down. These days, they'll do and say anything to get your business. <laughs> a business? Oh yeah. Make no mistake, a union is a business. But they basically just take your hard-earned money without making anything or doing much of anything. And that's reason number three not to sign. Dues. It's possible you could pay hundreds of dollars a year or more in dues. Whoa, that is a lot of money. It sure is. Reason number four, the union will promise you and anything and everything to get you to sign that card. In person, you can question them, but online, well, that's another story. They can make all kinds of claims and promises. Unions have a history of lying to employees about what they can get for them. The fact is, they can't guarantee anything. They can't guarantee any of the promises. As a matter of fact, there have been cases of unions agreeing to a binding contract that was worse than what the employees had before. Well, obviously that's not good. Nope, but it's sometimes you don't realize it until it's too late. So, uh, what's the fifth reason not to sign a union authorization card? Well, that's easy. It's you. Me? Yep, you and everybody else. You've earned your success and you've done it without the union. It's rules or it's dues. Mm, I never thought about it that way. Hmm. Well, signing a union authorization card, whether it's in person or online, you gotta think hard about what you're giving up. Like I said, it's a legal document. Sign one and you're telling the union you don't want to speak for yourself anymore. Talk about a valuable signature? Better believe it. <laughs>